on the agenda. We have three minutes to uh, to speak, and there's a sign sheet over there. Is there anybody who'd like to speak on items not on the agenda tonight? I would note that you don't need to submit a speaker card to speak under this item. There are speaker cards for uh, item A only. But if you did uh, not submit a speaker card and you speak under public comment, please sign in on the sign-in sheet over there. Thank you, Charlie. After you've commented. Hi, Joe Lutz from Watergate. Uh, I'm here to speak about the Trade Fix renovation project. Uh, there's a background information in the small packet that you, you can have. Um, on I think we need audio up in general on that. Testing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all the staff and, and department heads for uh, answering many questions about this, uh, especially the city attorney and the planning director. We particularly want to thank uh, Chief James and his troops for a prompt, patient, and professional uh, service for us uh, from the many calls, and Sergeant Hannon in particular. The restaurant uh, closed down on 430 for three and a half month renovation. Work began, and again, additional permits were required for expanded scope of work. The work on site includes the complete demolition, demolition and replacement of the interior, dry rot remediation, framing, shear wall work, beam replacement, exterior wall replacement, ADA compliance, concrete jackhammering and sawing, and drainage plumbing to correct a previously unpermitted grease trap installation. Circular saws are intermittently running and hammering is constant. This is all done next to a large residential building that is within 25 feet in some areas, including the concrete removal site. There are typically 15 to 25 vehicles and workers on site with dumpsters and delivery trucks coming and going at all times. The noise has been so bad that we've had numerous co complaints to the police and one of our residents had to send her live-in caregiver down to ask for relief. Several other residents noted open paint cans next to an electrical panel as well as workers smoking ne nearby. This again was within 25 feet of the building and a fire at Trader Vic's is a huge concern for residents at F building. The item did not come before the planning commission. Because of that, no resident input was given and worse yet, the eyes of the commission were not allowed and conditions of approval, which we have pleaded for for over six years, were not put in place. The commission could have asked about plans for the renovated restaurant, which is said to include younger patrons, expanded bar business, more parties, and three seatings. A similar opportunity happened in 2008 on another unpermitted project. We strongly believe that the department's high, all departments' highest priority is the safety and quality of life of the citizens of Emeryville. There should be no misunderstanding about that. Police and fire are a shining example of this philosophy. Likewise, the municipal codes were created to ensure the safety and quality of life of the citizens of Emeryville, not to justify inaction. We asked the city and the planning commission to review this project to ensure that everything was done to serve the needs of the citizen and to close holes in the communication process. Additionally, we asked the commission to work with the city attorney and the planning director to make appropriate modifications in any appropriate codes to deal with situations like this. Lastly, we asked the city to enforce the 2004 agreement letter with Trader Vicks. I am optimistic and hopeful that we can work this out as the issue will not go away and we will fight for our safety and the quality of life. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you, Joe. Anybody else like to speak on items not on tonight's